And what's up guys, I'm here with a lot. Today's episode, we're gonna be pulling trucks. Biggie Smalls, the millionaire, the mansion, the yacht, the two weak spots, the two hot clocks. Yeah. Huh, that's how Basically I got what we'll do is we'll harness you up to the line first. So step forward a little bit further. A little bit further. Alright. So we're gonna harness you up. We're just gonna teach you exactly the positions to get into before we do anything. The brakes are on the truck, so you're not gonna pull it anywhere yet. And then we'll get the lads in there and then we'll actually have a crack. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna bring your feet in slightly closer. We're gonna get you to bring your feet slightly backwards, just slightly further. So you see how you're staying nice and upright? Fall into, fall into this, fall forward, <laughs> fall forward. That's it, man. Kick your legs back further. Like I want you to pretend like you're about to fall forward. Yep. There you go. You're wanting every bit of your weight through here going this way. You basically want to be thinking, I'm going to hit that part of the ground. You want to think you're going to fall forward because that means every bit of your 103 to 105 kilos is going that way into the ground. You want to be driving every bit of your, your weight forward, every little bit of it. Because if you're in a competition or you're against guys who are 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 kilos heavier than you, you have to use every little bit of what you've got. So the more weight you've got forward, moving forward, the easier it is gonna to be to move it. It's the old saying of mass moves mass. The bigger you are, even if there is a big guy standing here weighing 160 kilos and he just leant forward into the truck versus you leaning forward into the truck, it's got nothing to do with him being stronger than you. It's just him being heavier than you. So this is why we've got to try and get every little bit of your weight going forward. So we're gonna try one more time just to get into place. There you go. So we're not gonna kick you back too far because I don't want you to slip over. This is gonna be a pretty good position. If we had a pair of rock climbers on, we could probably get you back a bit further, but this is pretty good. How do you feel with your feet position? Do you wanna bring them a little closer? Or is that where you'd squat? That's how I'd squat. That's about how you'd squat? Yeah. Kick them back slightly further. Just a smidge further, a little bit more. There you go, and I can see your hips wanting to go up. Bring your hips forward, because you're gonna to wanna to drive forward into the ground. Shoulders forward, hips down into the ground. See how your hips are going up? Hips forward, drop, like squeeze your butt forward. Yeah. Everything's gonna go this way. Cool, relax. This yep. is why you have such a good team. They literally do everything for you. So you take as much slack out of as humanly possible. You fall forward. See how I'm literally falling? Yeah. You're all sort of getting to this point here and freaking out because like, I don't want to fall forward. Yeah. Fall, fall. You're not gonna, you're, the truck's not gonna move. Yeah. It's not gonna move, but when it does move, think about driving down and forward. It's gonna be easier than you think. You're very strong. So think about just driving those hips down, hard into the ground, shoulders going forward, have your hands up just in case, and little steps to start off with. Yeah. Like I said, just trust it. I'll be right with you. I get my best flows to test on my next shows while my whiteboard is marked up with expos. Planning out all of my next moves to expos, the most unlikely artists to make it out of- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, kick it there. Does that feel too bad or not too bad? Oh, no, it's not okay, too bad. Okay, cool. First ever track pool, so um, not exactly sure what to expect, but pretty excited either way. Always good to um, do something new, a crack, and yeah, give my 100%, you know? That's what it's about. Just keep driving forward, okay? You'll be absolutely fine. Just drive as hard as you possibly can. Big deep breaths. All right. Ready? Three, two, one, yes, go! Hands on the ground, fall forward, get lower. There you go, that's a little bit of a little bit. Little steps now, little steps, little, little, little. There you go, keep tension, keep tension. Don't come up, stay low, stay low. There we go, little steps, wait for me. Little, 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 little. There you go, use them, use them, use them. Awesome. 
that was one of the longest grinding ones I've seen. <laughs> Mate, that was really, really good. Very, very impressive. You can see the lower you get, the easier it is for you to pull. For someone that's bigger and heavier, we can lean forward and we've already got the mass going into it. So it's always a little bit harder with guys in lighter body weight. So I'm proud of you. That was awesome. Thanks, that man. was so good. You pulled a truck, man. Cheers, you pulled man. 12 and a half tons. Again, having good coaching and technique made a huge difference. I could actually feel my glute hamstrings activate a lot more and utilize that into the pull. So a big thank you, Sean. No, dude, it's an absolute again, pleasure. Again, having a big, an awesome team as well. That's, yeah. that's a big thing. Like, uh, looking after you, making sure that everything is set and you feel safe. You know, that's a big part. All right, that was um, pretty good. Feeling good about myself. Mate, I'm proud of you. That was really, really impressive. But Justin has a challenge and I have a challenge for you and it's going I ahead like challenges. right behind here. Oh wow, this trucks together for you. You're going to be pulling two 12-ton trucks. Good luck, we'll see you over there. I didn't sign up for this. Nervous is good, mate. I mean, you're going to use every little bit of energy. You'll be absolutely so. fine, Tons. 24 Woo. tons! Woo. Well done, proud of you, proud of you, well done. Woo. Woo. I just struck it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good! One little bit. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Why are you sweating more than him? Because I was yelling at him that night. <laughs> <laughs> He go, I was nervous this whole time. I, I feel like a mother with a child. <laughs> and I'm here with my boy, Biggie, Jordan Stephens. Um, this guy's crazy. Tell us a little bit about yourself, mate. Oh, look, I've been a professional strongman for about 15 years. I retired a few years back and now go into coaching more than anything else now. So I guess my role now is trying to mentor the next generation of strength athletes coming through, through from powerlifting to strongman to weightlifting, now to helping bodybuilders pull Ooh. trucks. So, uh, you know, for me, it's uh, more about, you know, giving my sort of knowledge to the next generation of guys and girls coming through. Crazy. And it seems like you have quite a bit of passion for the sport. Um, and tell us a little bit about yourself um, in regards to your performance as well. Um, have you tried to attempt any records or...? Through my career, I've been really blessed. I guess you and me have known each other for a long, long time now. I still can remember your first bodybuilding show <laughs> when you weren't quite as big as what you are now, but you're still a monster. But I guess through me, I've been very blessed and very lucky to work with so many good people. So I've had opportunities to set Australian records. I've had opportunities to work with world records. I've had opportunities to travel all around the world. My passion now is getting as much joy out of winning competitions as I get for seeing my athletes win competitions. I enjoy that more than almost I ever enjoyed winning myself. And you are based in Adelaide, South Australia, right? Yeah, and if you were, people were looking for coaching, how would they contact you? Well, they can contact me online. I've obviously through social media, Jordan Biggie Stephens or the King of the Circus. Um, I work out of um, Powerhouse in the city. I work out of Soul 365, a CrossFit gym and Hilltop CrossFit at Mount Barker. So I'm, I guess I'm sort of spaced out around the place, working at different places, working with different teams. So, you know, any of those places above, someone can find me or even through you. <laughs> That's it. Just want to say a huge thank you to Biggie 
for coaching me through the team on Manu Transport. Yeah, I got it right. <laughs> BSN Supplements, Visual Eyes Media Co. And thank you to you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe button. Um, Turn on post notifications and I'll see you guys all soon. We are peace. We started from the bottom of the bottom and we never had a problem and we wish that we would never grow up. Now we're living bigger and better and we're doing whatever, man. I'm glad that we never gave up. So tell them I'm winning and I'm living and they ain't never gonna stop my grind. So tell them I'm winning and I'm living. Let's raise a toast to living a good life. Let me preach to them.